Lon Chaney, man of a thousand faces. As Quasimodo, the hunchback of Notre Dame. The history of the motion picture. A series in which we follow the growth of a new art. Its earliest beginnings. The first concept of projection. The development of story and spectacle and the great stars. All a part of the history of the motion picture. France, the 15th century. With the church as the principal source of his authority, Louis XI rules with an unsteady hand. Rebellion smolders even within Paris under the leadership of Clopin, known as the King of the Beggars. His ally is Yehan, whose brother is a priest of the Cathedral of Notre Dame. Yehan uses the cathedral as a cloak to conceal his own evil activities. Esmeralda, the dancing girl, is Clopin's stepdaughter, played by Patsy Ruth Miller. Esmeralda's love is Phoebus, captain of the king's guard. But Yehan, played by Brandon Hurst, is determined to have her for himself. As much a part of the cathedral as its gargoyles is the bell ringer Quasimodo, the hunchback of Notre Dame. He loves only his great cathedral bells. He is despised and ridiculed by the people of Paris, and he in turn has nothing but contempt for them. of the hunchback, Cheney followed Hugo's description faithfully. From shoulder pads like a football player's hung a breastplate and a rubber hump weighing 70 pounds. They were attached so that Cheney could not stand erect. Over all this, he wore a skin-tight, flesh-colored rubber suit to which animal hair was affixed. His face was misshapen with modeling clay, and behind his fang-like teeth, was a device to hold his mouth open. Quasimodo hates Yehan, but he fears him more. When Yehan orders him to abduct Esmeralda, he obeys. Thank you. 
hunchback is to be flogged. The flogging scene was directed with tact, without the violence, the sadism that pervaded the screen a generation later, and with no loss of the painful realities of Victor Hugo's tragedy. The priest, Dom Claude, is played by Nigel de Brouillet. His saintly features made him much in demand for such roles, and in both silent and sound films, he was Hollywood's perennial Cardinal Richelieu.
judges do not believe the plea of innocence. The role of Esmeralda established Patsy Ruth Miller as a top-ranking dramatic actress. The same role belonged eight years earlier to Theda Barron, the silent screen's most famous vamp. And nearly 20 years later, Esmeralda provided Maureen O'Hara her first American role in Charles Lawton's Hunchback of Notre Dame. Yehan suggests she be put to the question. The judges agree. to the question is usually a confession from innocent and guilty alike. Quasimodo is ringing his bells to announce an execution, whose he does not know. To him, it is just a wonderful opportunity to ring his beloved bells. Esmeralda, brought to the steps of Notre Dame to do penance before she is executed. Thank you. 
hidden away in the slums of Paris, the headquarters of Clopin's empire of beggars and thieves. Using the rescue of Esmeralda as a pretext, the mob can storm Notre Dame. And once underway, the revolt can reach the very palace itself. Some 2,800 actors were needed in these scenes. One of director Wallace Worsley's assistants in this spectacle was William Wyler. He had to wait almost 40 years to put this particular experience to work, until 1959, when he directed Ben-Hur.
Perhaps the eloquence of Lon Chaney's acting can be traced to the fact that he was born of deaf-mute parents. To converse with them and entertain them, he would act out the day's happenings in mime. Chaney died in 1930 at the age of 47. His only talking picture, The Unholy Three, showed that his voice had been as versatile as his face. Had he lived, he would have been one of the sound eras greatest stars. <laughs> 